Hello everyone, it's Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady here, and I'm working on a special rock that Miss Katie Thompson brought by. Um, she started working on it. She did the alcohol ink and the geometric uh, pattern in the back with the glitter and um, asked me if I wanted to work on it with her, and I thought, heck yeah, I got some new stamps, so why not use them on here? So that's what I did. I got this fun dragonfly combo here and uh so i i used some of that on here pretty cool huh anyways that's from joann's um i don't know nothing more about it except for it's from joann's it's the very first stamp i've ever had or ever used <laughs> so all i know is it you gotta put some ink on it and push it on the roll. <laughs> that's about as much as i know about stamps the glitter used on the rock is Holographic Illusions by Deco Art in Divine Purple. The background is alcohol ink and the the design is a stencil. The geometric design is by stencil. I'm not 100% positive about the stencil so I don't have much information on that but if you have a question about it um, leave it in the comments and I will work on an answer to that. So I've blacked out the wings because I want to play a little bit with these watercolors I made the other day out of the pigments that I got. And I want to show you what the pigment looks like to start with. You can see the full shift there. That is actually this one here. Pretty cool. Anyways, um, I made them up and then I let them dry into a watercolor palette. So this is reusable and all you have to do is wet your brush and start working. So I will do that. And I don't know which one I'm going to use so I'm just going to put a bit in each one and let them get juicy. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm going to draw in some lines on my wings and do some foils and uh, use some, uh, hopefully if it'll work, use some watercolor brushes on the lotus flower. Okay, those should work pretty quickly and I think I want to use this color here it's incredible let me show you Pretty neat, huh? They are a lot of fun. So yeah, just you can take your pure pigments, your pure metallic pigments and make them into a beautiful watercolor that you can hand letter. You can do, you know, pretty much whatever you want to with it. Anyways, I could sit here and make hearts and love words all day long with these colors because they're crazy beautiful. 
Oy. I know you guys see that. Okay, one more, and then I will stop. Okay, enough of that love business, yeah? Anyways, I'm going to mess around with those colors on Mr. Dragonfly. So I was thinking, let's see, i got to turn it over here. La, la, la. We'll go and do one line down like that. And one like that. And one like that. Just trying to give it some, you know, texture before I put the foils on. And then I'll put some down, going downward. So, and on the bottom one. And I don't really know what I'm doing here, but it it feels good. Looks good to me. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little something going this way. Okay. I think I'm going to black out the head so I can do some foils for the eyes. I think I'll probably be doing foils for this whole guy. Knowing me, I think I'll just do a do a thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the body too, and then make some pretty adjustments with the foil or embellishments, shall I say? It's really neat using a stamp because you don't have to trace. All right. While that's drying, let's see what I can do here with the lotus flower. And this isn't really a tutorial per se it's just showing you guys that you can collaborate with friends on a rock and expand your own expand with your own thoughts you know maybe make something collaboratively together that is pretty incredible i think working with friends is pretty fun so i'm just darkening up this lotus flower here with the Chromatec watercolor brush pens.
I'm going to sort of follow the color that is going on here in the background with the alcohol inks. Get some purple in there. What do we got here? Deep purple sounds good for over here. Blend that with some pink. Watercolor works pretty good with alcohol ink. A little blue here. And Egyptian blue is really fun. That's like a, oh, I don't even know. It's a really pretty blue. <laughs> and then deep purple again. And I'm going to use the harem blue to blend here. Keep it light at this upper part. And the pink over here. Looks pretty. And I'll probably line that in silver. You know, let's see if this works here. Or, 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 I have a new, oh, let's try this. You see, it's a new color color. It's like a pewtery color. It's pretty, pretty cool. Let me see what it looks like on my rock. Uh, maybe it's not silver enough. Let's see. Yep, not going to be silver enough. Okay, well that's okay. I've got this cool guy. It's a Uniball Signo. This is actually a broad, so I suggest the smaller, finer point one. This one's a little bit hard to work with, but I didn't know what I was doing when I was buying them, so <laughs> work with what I got. 
I'm just relining here from the stamp. And this may or may not work. Because you guys know I can't draw even when it is like this. Yeah, this is not looking good. <laughs> must finish before I give up on it, right? We don't give up anyways. We just adjust. I'll do something different if I don't like it. Might be okay, huh? see what we can do around the dragonfly so we've got some body parts I'm just gonna give some color Everything always looks weird until we get our foils on you. And then I'm thinking about these for the wings. Since this is geometric patterns back here, I think. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm going to do that. So let's get the glue. What I do with the glue. There it is. Okay, I'm going to do the eyes first, and I'm going to put some, you can see the dots in there, in that foil. Come on, camera, focus. Wow. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but there are dots, I promise. There you go. Hmm. Kind of an off night. Make some dragonfly eyeballs. And I'll go ahead and foil the wings too. Or glue, put the glue in there.
Okay, so I'm going to cure that for one cycle. Okay, so in the eyes, I'm going to cut out these little flowers here so I don't accidentally put those in the eyeballs. See if I can. Just do that. What is going on? Here's my eyeballs. And on the wing, oh, sorry. Okay, I think that's better. I got a different focus on there. So now you can see the eyes. Okay. On the wings, I'm going to try this foil. It's not the greatest quality foil, but it's really cool looking. So let's give it a go. Uh-huh. Tell me, tell me how much you love it. Pretty cool. Looking good so far. I think we're rocking this. Well, we're definitely rocking it. <laughs> Posca, I'm lining around my shape back up here while I'm waiting for my dragonfly parts and bits to cure under the light. Okay, I think I'm just going to do some pretty transparent holographic foil down the body. All right, we'll give that a cure. Okay, let's see here. This is turning into a blingy, blingy rock. A very pretty blingy, blingy. Look at that butterfly. Okay, so I gotta give it some legs or antenna or legs. What is it? Legs. Just the goo. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Let's see, what should we do on our lotus flower? Hmm. So I think I'm choosing this pattern for the lotus flower because it'll let us see most of the design there. But it'll still give it some beautiful, flashy, transparent-ness. 
Tsukota. Okay, I fold the lotus leaf and right now I had to touch up the glitter, get it give it another coat, so that's drying. So I will come back in a couple of minutes and show you the finished um, rock. It won't be resined yet, but it'll be done. And that way you can see just, you know, what two minds can do. She did the background, both the geometric and the alcohol inks, Katie Thompson did. And then she handed it off to me to give it a little extra something. So another collaboration under the belt. It was absolutely amazing amounts of fun and I really, really recommend working with a friend. You do half, they do half, and then you have this gorgeous thing. You end up with this piece of art you'd have never, you know, come up with on your own just because everybody's different. So that's my take on it. Enjoy your evening after morning or whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see you again real soon. Okay, all finished except for resin, which won't happen tonight. But I'll let you guys see. Gorgeous alcohol inks, Miss Katie. Katie, Katie, beautiful. I like that glitter too. That's Holographic Illusions by Deco Art Divine Purple. Uniball Signo Silver Broad. Um, the stamp was from Joann's. And I already lost it, so hopefully you guys caught that in the beginning. I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> kind of looks like this. The lotus flower goes there. Anyways, you got to buy that. And the ink pad and the block that you put the stamps on stays on ink pad. And this is what happens. So, oh yeah, and some nail foils. <laughs> Hello, the nail foils. And that was just something I had laying around. I'm not exactly sure where it came from, but it was sitting on my desk. So I just grabbed that. That's how simple. I grabbed it because it's sort of a geometric design as well. So, good night all.